my name is Claire. I was the creative catalyst on the Extreme project where we created a flash mob at the beginning of the project. Um, some of the key things that we needed for our flash mob were um, a, a large community of people to make it happen. So we had uh, three schools involved and we had the communities surrounding those schools where we had everyone from um, mums and really really young children to grandies and grandads getting involved. Having a large number um, was key to making our flash mob work in that the dance starts in a space with one or two people and it grows and grows and grows. The performance, um, it's not set up as a performance, it's there to take people by surprise. It would generally happen in a public place where there's a lot of footfall and we did ours in two of the two of the shopping centres in the city and I think we did that. I think we took a lot of people by surprise. We even had some of those members of the public at the end of the flash mob join us in in the dance moves that are very simple that anyone can kind of pick up my name is Chris Grant uh, I was the parkour instructor on extreme and the first part of the project that I worked on was creating some parkour to be used in the flash mob. I think parkour mixes really well with other sort of movement disciplines like dance, mainly because a lot of parkour is about dipping into lots of different pools of knowledge and taking the movements that you have and sort of making them your own by informing them with other, other movement. You know, coming up with three or four parkour movements and coming up with three or four dance movements and just sticking them together to see what would happen. Um, and the results that come out are always really interesting. What I think is really nice about it is that Usually when you have these sort of collaborations, it turns into something that you can't really label as one or the other anymore. And you get a real, real mix of everything. It's just sort of got a flavour of dance or a flavour of capoeira or a flavour of parkour and just a lot of different styles of movement. Our flash mob we used dance because it was a simple way of using movement. The whole community could pick it up quite easily. It's something that they could learn very easily. Other flash mobs, it doesn't necessarily have to be dance. Sometimes it's it's much more to do with movement. It could be a stillness. But I think it's a way of capturing the audience, um, having the music and having the dance. It's, it's a very clear visual way that there's something unusual or something different happening in that space where people would be using pedestrian movements walking through a shopping centre for someone to, to get up and do a larger movement or something that's quite unusual in that space, it, it takes people by surprise, um, which is the idea of, of the flash mobs. We're all movers, we all have different styles of movement, but we all essentially enjoy the same thing. We all want to play and we all want to run about and you know jump and climb and dance or you know whatever that may be. And I think parkour fits into that really well. And that's the sort of common ground that we have, that we just all want to move and we sort of just want to discover things and places and to see all those different disciplines coming together that have loads and loads of contrasts, but sort of along that common line just works really well and keeps everyone smiling.